Hey everybody, welcome to Afternoons on the Porch with my with your truly Hollywood Howie. Yeah, keep those phones away. Anyway, welcome to the world famous Music City Bar and Grill. And we wanna we wanna thank Savannah for coming in today. And she's a great one of the great bartenders of all of Nashville. We got some great bartenders out here. We got Savannah today and then Alex and Dylan and of course, Jimmy, the yeah, cook Jimmy. back there, what, yeah. I'll tell you what, that man could cook up some food. Oh. Mm. Anyway, we want to thank our sponsors today, the Garage Door Protocol. For all your garage door needs, contact Cliff Waddell at 615-945-DOOR. And I ride Equestrian Lifestyle. They're a group of folks that run a horse camp for children of deployed soldiers and veterans. And these kids can come out work with the horses, ride them, and they don't cost their families a dime. And I really got to give them a shout out being today is Veterans Day. <sighs> look who just walked in the door. I didn't want to look. It better be smiley. <laughs> and uh, being today is Veterans Day, we want to give a shout out to all the veterans out there. Um, today is one of the hardest days of, of, of the year for myself, being a veteran. And... Uh, Sitting around, you know, thinking about all the, the friends and brothers and sisters that I've buried, and, you know. And then, of course, we got Smiley Roberts in the house. You're by yourself. Uh, you know. And Chris West out there on the, on the patio. Yeah, he, we lost him. Where'd he go? We lost one. Yeah, he's still out there. We didn't leave him. But he left his beer. That's right. So that he means he'll be back. <laughs> and we got some uh, great folks coming up after the show today. We got Donnie Lee. And then, of course, the Music City Playboys tonight. And y'all want to be here for tomorrow night's show. Ronnie McDowell. That's right. We'll be here. Show starts at 6.30. The Ronnie McDowell Band will be playing from 6.30 to 7.30. And then, of course, the legend himself, Ronnie McDowell, will be taking the stage. Y'all come on out. $10 at the door. And, of course, yours truly, Hollywood, and Ronnie G will be working the door. Now, to get to the two gentlemen here on the stage, this gentleman right here I've had on him on the show before. We want to welcome Mr. Sweepy Walker back Woo! to the stage. Woo! Yeah. I've still got it. we still got to get that recorded. I love that. And I'll let uh, Sweepy introduce the gentleman that's to the right over there. Well, this is my musical cohort and best friend, and we write stuff together all the time. His name is Eric Hamilton. He is a uh, musical uh, and just a film, uh, just a great, great, talented guy. Thank you, Sweepy. I appreciate that. Yay! Thanks for being here with me, and so we can talk about some stuff we've been doing. Remember how we used to say, I, I want to introduce the band, and I say, Bill, that's Jim back there. Mm -hmm. Band with all yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, well, most folks know about Sweepy. Let's little, hear a little bit about Eric there. Well, I'm a leaper. I like long walks on the beach. This is on the front porch, not e harmony. It's not the dating service. Uh, I've been in Nashville since about 1982. Uh, I started out as a recording engineer. I gotta say this, Mississippi guy right here, down in Mississippi. Ooh, he's, he's yeah. got the, that got the blues running right through him. Please carry on. <laughs> I worked as a recording engineer, learned the learned the trade from my father, and, and uh, became a record producer. Formed a band with Sweepy and a few other guys in about 1996. Got a deal with uh, with Curb uh, Curb Records and Atlantic Records doing the distribution, and we toured the world for a long while. And here lately, been directing some films and doing some acting, and, and uh, writing a few screenplays. You know, just working in the entertainment industry in Nashville. And I think the average lifespan is about six months in Nashville. And I've been here, been here, still, still kicking it. So lucky, lucky to still be in Nashville doing, you know, creating stuff and, and, uh, for a living. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, I don't want to promote myself that much, but you mentioned the videos and all that. Now I work in music videos and on TV and stuff. So if you ever need anybody. Just yeah, contact Linda just call me. Not. He promised that he would do that next time. So, <laughs> all right, with that being said, we're going to start off with some music right now. If y'all don't mind, if y'all too. Uh, yeah, if you want to. 
to. Huh, two? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, yeah, two. Not two. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Hey, <laughs> I, I, I never mind who I am. I know I'm, who I am. I'm nosy. The question is, do you know who you are? I do. I'm Sweepy Walker. I appreciate you. The fine, warm introduction from Hollywood Alley <laughs> and Eric Hamilton. But, uh... My grandfather came to town about 1959, and uh, he had a few hits. Oh, lucky for that. He sent me to private school, I think. But uh, I'd like to do one. We'd like to do one, that's all right. Okay. Go right ahead, everybody. Sweepy Walker. Yeah! Eric Hamilton, right? Hey. My grandmother grew up down in Waco, Texas. This song's about her. On the Chisholm Trail it was midnight Carmelo was strong on his mind Because of the life he had chosen Carmelo had left him behind Too long he'd been El Bandito Carmelo had left him alone But today someone brought a message She'd been seen in old San Antonio Across the grass and said Waco Ride hard and I'll make it by dawn Across the grass and said Waco I'm safe when I reach San Antonio He glanced back over his shoulder The posse was nowhere in sight he sent for Carmella to meet him on the banks of the Brazos tonight. She was waiting and he kept the promise he made such a long time ago. As he dropped the lunch that she needed in the muddy Brazos below. Crossed the Brazos and Waco, right hard. Then the night came alive with gunfire He flew that at last he then found As the rangers passed your rising El Bandito lay on the ground Our love knew he was dying That all of her dreams were in vain As she kissed his lips for the last time She heard him whisper what we love about here out in Music Valley, where we keep country music real if you can see the bar and grill. No matter what everybody else does, we keep it real over here. And I know I got friends across the way over there going, Howie, watch what you're saying. But you know what? I really don't care. Because that's just how I is. Anyway, so Sweepy, what have you been up to since the last time we saw you? Uh, films. Films? Uh, yeah. Um, Eric Hamilton and I, Eric Hamilton and I, and uh, his lovely wife Lauren O'Keefe, uh, got a win one day and started writing some scripts, and uh, they turned into the first episode of what we hope to be the first season of Five of Spades, and uh, that thing went on. Uh, it's just been successful the last six months, hasn't it, Eric? Fourteen. Yeah. We uh, sixteen awards that we won with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, best actor, best. Supporting actor, best actress, yeah, you, you name it. We've kind of played so You can see that uh, film, Five of Spades, on greatamericanwesterns.com. If you if you go, uh, there's an app on Roku, or you can just go to the .com and 
and check our film out. But since then, we've done about four or five films, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, everything from just a short the music video to 20 minutes long. And now we're working on our full feature one that we're working uh, to do Five of Spades number two. Cool. And we hope to start filming that in March. But yeah, we've done some good stuff. We're working on one now called Two Goes Dream. We call it uh, a foreign film that we made right here in the United States. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> hey. uh, it's all in Spanish. Yeah. Kind of like the reverse spaghetti westerns. Exactly. They were supposed right. to be here and they were filmed over in Italy and you know that's the you that you get it yeah you already get half of the film you haven't even seen it yep all right speaking all right. of spaghetti Rev, westerns too you can see uh sweepy and i both in another film that was produced by john carter cash uh, called dragon song and that, yeah. that one's for free on youtube right now so if you go to uh youtube search dragon song and, and check that award-winning film out too i right. tell my grandson about that because he's all about youtube okay all right. you know and uh here lately he's been going on youtube and looking up you know, like the Statler brothers and, and folks like that. And he's six years old and he just loves that stuff. I've got a nephew who's eight and he is Mr. Elvis. There we go. Loves Elvis, dresses like him, walks like him. He's all about Elvis, so I know what you mean. Yeah. All right, how about we get one out of Eric over there? Yeah. Uh-oh, he's thinking that. <laughs> we all in trouble, duck and cover. There's a little song I know called Cross the Brazos and Wake Up. <laughs> I like you just did that. <laughs> Now I wrote this song with uh, with Ira Dean from Trick Pony and uh, a guy named Edward McCain and Edward Cutter. And we, uh, this song was actually nominated 2017, I think, for Best Song in a Motion Picture at the Oscars. So. Mm. I've been to the edge like what I saw Looking over the ledge and I saw myself fall. One step from jumping. I heard your call. Didn't be on the leg. Made no sense at all. But baby, I'm back. Took more than a little. Matter of fact, better than a
That's terrific. Thank you very much. You know, an interesting story too about this song and the film that was it was nominated in at the Oscars was called a film called Never Surrender and a blanking on a man's name. His name was Edwin. He was the last soldier to yell charge from horseback in the U.S. Cavalry in the Philippines. So if you get a chance, check that film out. It's, it's pretty amazing. And uh, we got some veterans in the house today. We got Chris West sitting over here, smiling hey. all And of course, cousin Jimmy over here. And, uh, and, how we, and thank you. Yeah. I always forget myself. Our hats are off to all of you gentlemen for, for serving your country like you did and it's amazing. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Cliff Waddell is watching, um, but we want to dedicate today's show to Cliff and his family. Cliff and his family just uh, lost his dad last week, and he was a veteran, a patriot, and uh, they laid him to rest on Sunday. And uh, I got to know the man, Charles Gary Waddell, real well, and uh, he's a good friend. <sighs> and a veteran. So we want to uh, dedicate today's show to them and all the veterans. And uh, I normally don't cry in public. <laughs> and uh, so y'all see him something that most people don't get to see. And uh, today's just another hard day. Oh, Lord. So Cliff, if you're watching, we love your brother. Can't wait to get you back. And uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here and go wash my face off and uh, get some more music out of y'all. Okay. What would you like to do, Sleepy? Uh, let's, uh, in, in honor of Cliff's dad, let's do something uh, that we won't forget him. You know, uh, Another Billy Walker tune, but uh, it is funny how time keeps on slipping away. Ain't that right, Smiley? <laughs>
this record a couple of these songs got picked up for some of these movies and ha I'm happy about that but the name of the album is called Love Lies and Murder Woo. whoa yeah I mean we're going to talk about it okay we're going to talk about it that's good yeah if it happened or if we think it happened we're going to talk about it you've been involved in all three too haven't you <laughs> <laughs> I will plead the fifth <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Black is the color of these stripes that I wear. Black was the color of my baby's hair. Black as the gun I used to shoot her down. Black as the box where she lay in the ground. I've cried, I've cried, I've cried, I've cried, and I've died, but I just keep on living. Green were her eyes, green as the sea, green like the jealousy. sit on Music City Park and Guild, Rodney Collins, they uh, own a little place down there in Kokomo, Indiana, called the Country Pouch. And uh, you look around here, and this is just a smaller version of their place there. 
and it's a welcome. And uh, this is Afternoons on the Porch with myself, Hollywood Howie, with Southern Country Radio. We got Savannah back there behind the bar, slinging them cold drinks, I'll tell you what. One of the best bartenders in Nashville. don't know this is uh sweepy walker grandson of the legend billy walker oh, well, thank you. Thank and uh then of course we got his cohort over here mr eric hamilton yeah and uh, we want to thank them for coming out on this veterans day and uh did you bring your uh, harmonica yeah okay yeah there we go and uh of course we want to thank all the veterans and i know people We'll probably get tired of hearing me say it, but I'm going to be saying it all day long. And, uh, I'll tell you. But I know people are, people have been asking me about my new hat. Well, I, yeah, I, tell I, about it. You got a new look going on. And, uh, well, that's uh, Dane, Dana McDowell's. Okay. Dana McDowell's. Ronnie McDowell's uh, daughter in law okay. is the one that gave me the whole new makeover. But now the hat I got was given by uh, given to me the other night by Ronnie Lutrick, who plays with the Hot Rod DeVille's. Well, he did some research on the hat, and it is from 1937, Chicago, Illinois, and it was worn by a Chicago mafia don. (laughs) So why he thought of me when he think of who to give it to, I don't know, you know, but, <laughs> so I want to thank Ronnie and Tony for this hat, it's a Stetson, and, uh, the only Stetson I own, and, uh, I just love it, so, well, anyway, you, enough about me, when you wear it, it looks like it was stepped on, yeah, I feel like I've been stepped on, <laughs> all right, enough from Smiley in the peanut gallery, <laughs> Since he has no sponsors or commercials for us today. Oh, yes, he, he does. Ran out. He ran out. I can't believe that. I don't believe it either. Man. Well, I've got, I've got some, but they're not for public listening. Well, oh, yeah. I've, I've read some of them, so, yeah. We can't have those. All right. Well, it looks like this. See, I see a harmonica coming out. Like we get ready for some more good old music here. Uh, yeah, but Eric and I have been playing music together for almost 30 years. Yeah. That is almost smiling I have. Yeah, that's right. But back in the day, like Eric said, we were on Curve Records and uh, we did 50 states in 50 days and toured half of the world. And man, are we tired? And part, <laughs> parts of Alabama too. Yeah, yeah. That's Eric Hamilton band too. It's on Spotify and. And, uh, you can still buy that stuff. You can still buy that record. Yeah. Curves, you're kidding. Well, all right. We did yeah. all 50 states in 50 days. Did three shows a day in about 40 of those states. My gosh. And then D.C. day 51. All in a bus except for Alaska, Hawaii, back to San Francisco. Ooh. So well, yeah, all right. quite a tour. Uh, we were young men at the time. We could handle it. Yeah. Oh, you're real old now. <laughs> well, compared to Smiley, we all young. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, well, like a buddy of mine used to tell me when I looked real old before I got my makeover. Oh, okay. Smiley was a, a, a corporal back when Jesus was a private. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's older than baseball. I thought he was older than dirt. <laughs> I, 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 I remember when Moby Dick was a menor. See? Already, everybody, before we take a break, we're going to turn back over to Sweepy and Eric. Back when Moses wore knee bridges. <laughs> and waders. So he didn't get wet. Oh, God. Well, this one's all the way from the Mississippi River, down around Vicksburg Way. Well, you know I get so hungry. Smoking beans, give me gas. Get on there with real ounces of 
Mr. Donnie Lee is in the house. You want to stick around for him. Yeah. And uh, for the new folks in the house, we've got a tradition here in Nashville. And we're going to induct you into it. We call the Holler and Swaller. So everybody, if you got a drink in your hand, hold it way up in the air. And at the count of three, we're going to holler and then swaller. One, two, three, holler! Woo! And swaller. See, I was never to give up drinking. I was allergic to it. Every time I drink, I'd break out in handcuffs. I always thought I was a winner when that happened. You know, I always thought I won something that happened. You know, brand, you know, silver bracelets and a free ride to a hotel. You know, and then they close that door, and I'm thinking, what kind of hotel is this? I can't get out. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take about a five, ten minute break, folks. But these guys get themselves some water or something to drink. Right and then we'll be right back. With Hollywood! Hollywood! <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. We're 